Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our channel. Alrighty now, folks, it's your favorite neighborhood critic back with some piping hot tea about our least favorite royal troublemaker, Meghan Markle. Grab your popcorn because this is going to be one wild ride. But before we delve into further discussion, if you haven't subscribed, I mean, come on, guys, what are you waiting for? Hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell ASAP. So now, Little Miss Spotlight Chaser herself decides to grace the LA Children's Hospital Gala with her presence. Oh, how generous of her, right? Wrong. According to my girl Lizzie Cundy, who was there to witness the whole spectacle, our dear Duchess of Desperation was just there for the photo op. Color me shocked. Not. Now, let's break this down, shall we? Megan shows up in this recycled Carolina Herrera dress, you know, the one she wore back in 2021. Oh honey, we all love a good outfit repeat, but when you're trying to make a splash, maybe dig a little deeper into that designer-filled closet of yours. But I digress. So there she is, all dolled up, but get this, Lizzie says there wasn't exactly a red carpet rollout for old Megs. There wasn't a great deal of warmth from people when she arrived, Lizzie spilled. Ouch, can you imagine? The woman who thought she was going to revolutionize the monarchy, standing there like a lost puppy at a gala? It's almost, almost, enough to make you feel sorry for her. Almost. But here's the kicker, folks. Lizzie, bless her heart, drops this truth bomb. Megan needs LA more than LA needs her. Boom! There it is. The cold, hard truth that I'm sure is keeping Megan up at night. See, here's the thing. LA is filled to the brim with actual celebrities. People who've worked their way up, paid their dues, and earned their spot in the limelight. And then there's Megan, waltzing in like she owns the place, expecting everyone to bow down to her because she managed to bag a prince. Oh, speaking of Prince Harry, where was he during all this, off on some quasi-royal tour without his better half? Interesting timing, don't you think? It's almost like he's trying to remind everyone that he's still got that royal shine, even if it's getting a bit tarnished these days. But let's get back to the gala. Megan's there trying to work the room, and what does she come up with? It's past your bedtime for sure, she jokes to some poor kid. Wow, Megs, did you stay up all night working on that zinger? And then she's all, oh, how old are they? Oh, so really close to our kids. Stop the presses, folks. Meghan Markle knows how to make small talk. Someone alert the media. Oh, wait, she already did that herself. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, hey, critic, give her a break. She was there for charity. And to that, I say, was she really? Because according to Lizzie and a quote, she wasn't there long. She seemed to be there for the photographs. Aha, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The true purpose of the evening revealed. It wasn't about the kids. It wasn't about the charity. It was about Megan getting her face plastered all over the press. Again. But here's the real tea, my friends. Lizzie dropped this little nugget of wisdom that I think really sums up the whole Megan situation. LA people feel they've been played by her. Mic drop. You see, the folks in LA aren't stupid. They can smell inauthenticity from a mile away. And Megan? Well, she's practically marinated in it. Let's rewind a bit, shall we? Remember when Megan first burst onto the scene, all wide-eyed and innocent, claiming she didn't know much about the royal family? Yeah, that was a load of hogwash. Our girl Lizzie remembers Megan way back in 2013, gushing about how much she loved London and wanted to be a London girl. Funny how that narrative changed when she met Harry, huh? And speaking of changes, let's talk about the great Megan ghosting of 2018. Lizzie, along with pretty much everyone else in Meghan's pre-Harry life, got the cold shoulder once that engagement ring slipped on her finger. Classy move, Megs. Really shows your true colors. But here's the thing that really grinds my gears, folks. Meghan and Harry were loved, genuinely loved, when they were part of the royal family. They had the world at their feet, adoring fans, a platform to do real good in the world. And what did they do? They threw it all away for what, Netflix deals and Spotify podcasts? They badmouthed the very institution that gave them their platform, the family that welcomed Meghan with open arms. And for what? A chance to play victim on Oprah? To air dirty laundry and make wild accusations? It's not just disappointing, it's downright disrespectful. And now, here we are. Meghan, showing up at galas, desperately trying to cling to relevance. 
Harry, off playing make-believe royal on his little tour. It's like watching a slow-motion car crash, isn't it? You want to look away, but you just can't. But let's be real for a second. The saddest part of all this? Meghan and Harry actually do have the potential to do great things. Charity work, as Lizzie pointed out, is where they could really shine. But instead of focusing on that, instead of using their platform for good, they're caught up in this endless cycle of drama and self-promotion. It's exhausting, isn't it? And I think that's why LA is starting to turn its back on them. Hollywood loves a good story, sure, but they also value authenticity. And let's face it, there's nothing authentic about Meghan's constant need for the spotlight. You know, I can't help but think about Kate and William when I see all this Meghan drama unfold. Now, there's a couple who understand what it means to be royal. They carry themselves with grace, they focus on their charities, they represent the monarchy with dignity. They don't need to constantly be in the headlines or stir up drama to be relevant, they just are. And maybe that's what drives Meghan so crazy. She thought she could waltz in, shake things up, and become the star of the royal show. But she underestimated the power of tradition, the importance of duty, and the British public's ability to see through her act. So here we are, watching Meghan try to navigate the LA scene without her royal crutch. And let me tell you, it's not pretty. The desperation is palpable. The thirst for attention is real. And the sad thing is, I don't think she even realizes how transparent she's become. Remember when Meghan was just that actress from Suits? When she was hustling for roles and running her lifestyle blog? Say what you will about that version of Meghan, but at least she was working for something. Now? Now she's just trading on her royal connection, milking it for all it's worth. But here's the million dollar question, folks. How long can this last? How long can Meghan and Harry keep playing the victim card? How many more tell-all interviews can they give before people stop caring? Because let me tell you, that day is coming. The public's patience isn't infinite, and neither is their interest in this never-ending saga. And when that day comes, when the spotlight finally dims and the invitations to galas stop rolling in, what then? Will Meghan finally realize that she threw away something truly special for a fleeting moment of fame? Will Harry wake up and see the damage he's done to his family relationships? Only time will tell, my friends. But one thing's for sure. I'll be here, watching it all unfold, ready to spill the tea and give you my unfiltered take on all things Meghan and Harry. Because let's face it, as much as we might roll our eyes at their antics, as much as we might wish they'd just fade into obscurity, there's a part of us that can't look away. It's like a real-life soap opera playing out on the global stage. And whether we like it or not, Meghan Markle is the star of this tragic comedy. So my dear royal watchers, what do you think? Is Meghan's star finally fading in LA? Has she played her hand one too many times? Or does she still have a few tricks up her designer sleeve? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep this royal drama dissection going. And remember folks, in the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. Or in Meghan's case, you win or you end up at a charity gala, desperately hoping someone will take your picture. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Until then, stay tuned for more shocking stories and scandalous exposés on our YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest from the world of the royal family. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Bye for now.